welcome we are initiating ourselves to glimpse in by and to be parallel with the organization format features of the text of shrimad bhagavad gita lively on the basis base of its own mathematical domain the mathematical domain basis base of the text of shrimad bhagavad gita is of creators space mathematics creators the space is the four space it is of a special order the bodies manifest within creator space along the format of idol of lord brahma creator the supreme the presiding deity of the creator the space up till this moment our first four lessons may be taken as a unit 1 unit 1 of initiation steps it it has been all about the devanagari alphabet today with this fifth lesson we are entering unit 2 unit 2 is designated as creators space sadhakas are fulfilled with intensity of urge to be parallel with vedic systems and are fulfilled with intensity of urge to glimpse in by and to be parallel with the organization format features of the text of gita have to sequentially proceed firstly in terms of first four lessons of unit 1 and the same to be followed by unit 2 which is about creator the space present lesson 5 is the first letter of unit 2 in this lesson we are refreshing ourselves with the initial prominent dominant foundational scriptural features of this space lord brahma is creator the supreme lord brahma is a four head lord each head of lord is equipped with a pair of eyes lord brahma sits on a lotus seat of eight petals with a cavity of heart of lord brahma is the seat of the transcendental lord shiv lord brahma meditates with the cavity of his own heart and with the grace of the transcendental lord lord brahma multiplies as 10 brahmas hypercube four the representative regular body of four space is parallel with the manifestation formats and features of idol of lord brahma sadkas fulfilled with intensity of earth shall permit one's mind to continuously remain in trance and to glimpse and imbibe the existence of reality of four space our mental conditioning because of three space is there as we feel as if we are within a cube and the cube is contained within walls these walls the special walls create mental conditioning this mental conditioning is the conditioning of a linear dimensional order of three space we have to melt this condition we have to melt linear order conditioning of mental state and we have to transit from three space to four space one shall attempt one shall be through desire exercises of glimpsing and imbibing 
the reality of our existence phenomenon being of a real fourth space. On the computer screen is depicted first phase and stage when one is confined within the room and gets conditioned because of the linear order. One is to melt it. The second depiction is that when one will be out of the restrictions, spatial boundary of three space, and when will be in the open space, one will be in a real four space. In this initial initiation phases and stages, one will be having firm comprehension form imprint in one's mind that four space is having manifestation for its space content as a space body designated as hypercube four, being of four folds, the first being the spatial dimensional order, parallel with pair of eyes in each of the four heads of Lord Brahma is the spatial dimension of the four space. Four heads, four dimensions, pair of eye in each head, spatial dimension for each of the quadruple dimensions of the four space. Lord Brahma sits comfortably on the lotus seat of eight petals, and hypercube four is having a solid boundary of eight components. With a cavity of heart of Lord Brahma, is the seat of the transcendental lord and five space plays the role of origin fold of four space. Once one is having firm comprehension of these distinctive quadruple features of manifested components of hypercube four, one will be having a ensured melting of the conditioning because of the linear order and one will start visualizing and one will start absorbing the reality of the real force space, which is of a spatial order. With it, one can have a mathematics, symbolic, numerative, and numerative geometric formations. And these are being tabulated with its technical names for the four folds. And the first fold is designated as the dimension fold. The second fold is boundary fold. Third fold is domain fold. Fourth fold is origin fold. As we have seen, that the hypercube four is having manifestation features parallel with the idol of Lord Brahma. As such, the dimension four is a spatial dimension. That is, two space is playing the role of dimension in respect of four space body. Square is the representative body of the two space. Number value two, as such, is the number value format for spatial dimension. The second column is depicting boundary fold, n is equal to three, three space, two solids, number value three, as the features of the boundary fold. Step ahead, domain fold, number four, four space, hypercube four, four space content, number value four as a feature for the domain four. And finally, origin four, number value n is five, five space, and number value five. The summation value of two, three, four plus five is equal to 14, as well has its own distinctive role to play. And as such, one should have association of this value with this body. Once one is having 
this comprehension, then one can sequentially put oneself in a state as that hypercube for as four space domain is having its transition to the next role as a four space as a boundary. Let us sit comfortably. Let us remind to ourselves. Let us permit our mind to transcend. Let us follow the creator's path, the enlightenment path of the creator is preserved in the scriptures as that Lord Brahma meditates with the cavity of one's own heart and with the grace of transcendental Lord, Lord Brahma multiplies as ten Brahmas. This feature, this value, this virtue is as that four spaces domain in its next role transits from four spaces of the domain to four spaces of the boundary of a five space. The creative boundary of five space is of ten components. Lord Brahma meditates with the cavity of his own heart and with the grace of transcendental Lord. Lord Brahma multiplies as ten Brahmas. This amounts to the transition effect for four space from its role as a domain to its role as a creative boundary. As such, sadhukas fulfilled with intensity of work shall undertake this transcendental exercise and to have firm imprint of this transition phenomenon being of a transcendental nature as much as that the role of four space of domain transits and transforms as a creative boundary of the ten components. Once one is having this form comprehension, then one can revert back to the Varga consonants. There are 25 Varga consonants. These consonants Ka, Tuma are 25, organized as five rows and five columns. It is this organization of Varga consonants which helps us have a transition from numbers format of these 25 letters as five cross five grid to their respective geometric formats as the first row of its value sequence one, two, three, four is a hypercube three and step ahead, the fifth fold becomes the transcendental base. Therefore, Sadhukas are fulfilled with intensity of effort to be parallel with Vedic systems, shall sit comfortably and to permit the transcending mind to glimpse as that four space is having five space in the role of a origin. Now, it is this transition of a reach within four space up till its origin, which is being depicted here and which is manifesting here and which is resulting into the geometric format for the Varga consonants. One shall sit comfortably and to permit one's mind to have firm comprehension of this transition of the geometric format for the work and consonants. Step ahead, one shall undertake another exercise. This exercise is that one shall have a fresh visit to a three space, three space body cube. It is a three dimensional body. Being a three dimensional body, 
you say will remain in a fixed static state even through space because all the three dimensions of three space will have exhaustive fixation for its bodies of three dimensions however with the availability of the fourth dimension because of the reality of the four space so a true solid three space body within four space will have a degree of freedom of motion along the fourth dimension when one comes out of one's room and one is in the open space one can fairly appreciate as that the degree of freedom of motion because of which one transits from static state to a dynamic state is there because of the availability of the fourth dimension we know that q is a body having 12 edges therefore within four space the fourth the additional dimension towards which there will be an availability of freedom of motion will manifest as an additional edge for the q and so within four space 12 edge q will manifest its additional 13th edge and it will transit and transform into a setup of 13 edges <coughs> this 13 edge q <coughs> so <coughs> is going to be of a static four space state within three space 12 edge q acquires a static state but in four space this setup of 12 edges transits and transforms into 13 edges setup and this 13 edges setup is to be comprehended well and the 13th edge gets coordinated linked up fixed attached with the origin the depiction on the computer screen is that within four space domain q transits and transforms into a set of 13 edge q and the 13th edge of this q gets linked that's coordinated that fixed with a transcendental origin a five space origin one may have a pause here and take note that five space is a solid order space each dimension of five space is solid therefore it is this fixation of the 13th edge with the transcendental origin is a geometric reality it is this reality of the creator of space which deserves to be imbibed well it is comprehension of this reality which will help us be face to face with as to how from the origin the transcendental values flow in and are transmitted to the creative bodies this also will further help us appreciate the role of a navel in a human body this further will help us appreciate as to how child before its birth remains connected through the navel cord and the supplies need of the body of unborn child or fulfilled through the navel cord of the mother on the computer screen is also depicted a situation when the 
transcendental origin, five space of origin, solid order origin is melting, is transiting. It is as if it is standing permission for the seal, the transcendental seal at the domain of first space to get melted and unsealed state of four space domain means the state when the five space is still continuing, still continuing in its role as an origin. This state is the state which deserves to be comprehended well. One should sit comfortably and to have visit, prolonged visit. The transcending mind shall continuously remain in trance and to be parallel with the existence or non-existence of the transcendental scene in the, trans in the creative domain. So it be within a full space as such the transition for the full space content at the seat of its origin will transit into a creative boundary of 10 components for this unsealed state <coughs> being designated here as a transcendental cavity. The happening of a transcendental cavity at the transcendental origin seat within the creative domain is the feature which deserves to be comprehended well. First, we have to comprehend as that within four space, because of the availability of the fourth dimension, the 12 edge cube manifests additional 13th edge, which gets connected, coordinated, linked with the transcendental origin. The second feature which we have to comprehend fully is that at the seat of the transcendental origin, there happens a transcendental cavity with the seal standing unlocked domain standing unlocked, seal standing melted away. This transcendental cavity situation, this transcendental cavity feature of the creative domain is the feature which will help us have a transition within creator's space for a reach up to the base fold, the fifth fold for the manifested bodies. Further, we know that the four space is enveloped within a solid boundary of eight components. These eight components of the solid boundary body as such creates nine versions for hypercube four as a domain. All the eight boundary components being intact or only seven of them being intact or six of them being intact or being stripped off all the eight boundary components of the ninth state where there is no solid boundary component marking its presence. These nine versions of hypercube four are the distinct four space bodies. There are nine distinct four space bodies. The distinctiveness of these bodies is there because of the presence or non-presence of the boundary components. These nine distinct bodies of four space 
or the representative or regular bodies of nine geometries of four space. So four space is having nine geometries and each of these nine geometries is having its distinct representative regular body as per the version of these setups of hypercube four. Once one stands acquainted with this feature of four space body, then one will be having a blissful feature with an insight as that each of the boundary component when takes off, then it creates a cosmic window at that place. The solid boundary of hypercube four is of eight components. As such, as many as eight windows stand created at the boundary of the creator's space. So the creator's space is a space which is sequentially having as many as eight cosmic windows through which the outer transcendental space values flow in from each of the cosmic window flows in the transcendental content of the outer space and the same transits through four space domain and ultimately manifest as the transcendental origin of the four space. As such, the cosmic windows and transcendental cavity are the two distinct glaring foundational structural formatted features of the creators of space which are to be exploited, availed, processed, worked out as applied values of the four space mathematics. Four space here as creative boundary is of 10 components. The creative boundary of 10 components of five space manifests a 10 place value system. We know the 10 place value system has nine numerals. The nine versions of hypercube four manifest the geometric formats for the nine numerals. The transcendental domain, five space domain, hypercube five at its creative boundary of 10 components is manifesting a geometric format for 10 place value system and the nine versions of hypercube four are manifesting geometric formats of nine numerals of this 10 place value system. Now, four space as value four will be of features that it will be having its remainders so of zero, one, two, and three, or that the entire range of numbers get organized as quadruple streams of remainder one, remainder two, remainder three, remainder four, which will be a remainder zero. And this way, the numbers values of four place value system will take us to a first column flow, one, five, nine, 13, second column, two, six, 10, 13, three, seven, 11, 15, four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. So the entire range of numbers get organized 
has quadruple streams. Now, these quadruple streams are of geometric formats as manifestation of four space content. This manifestation of a four space content is of a dual of a pair of generic units. We know that two space is playing the role of dimension of four space. So linear and spatial, single and double, single and pair of axes set up for the dimensional frame of this spatial order of a four space leads to, gives rise to a pair of units. One as two and two as one which together lead to half as a working unit is the distinctive feature of arithmetics of four space. We shall be visiting these features. We shall be working out this mathematics. We will be availing this arithmetics and it is for it that we are initiating ourselves. For the present, it be taken that the hypercubes, the bodies of four space are going to be of a pair of generic setups, full unit and half unit. Full unit hypercubes and half unit for hypercubes are going to be a pair of sequences of the four space bodies. We shall be coming to it. In fact, we are at present in this session are only exposing ourselves as to what are going to be the broad features of the mathematical entities with which we will be having an exposure for the real four space mathematics. The double digit numbers and single digit numbers are two distinct ways to organize number value systems. We shall be organizing arithmetic operations along both these setups as single digit numbers and double digit numbers. The double digit numbers from 0, 1 to 99 of 10 place value system permit us their organization along 9 cross 11 grid as is on the computer screen. And here the value 9 is parallel with nine versions of hypercube 4, four space, which is in the role of a creative boundary. And number value 11 is parallel with 11 version of hypercube five or five space domain. It is this interrelationship, it is this coordination, this is, it is this interlocking, it is this coordination of artifices of values in geometric formats, which is the essential processing step to be learned, to be comprehended, to be imbibed so that we can have a chase for arithmetic operations along geometric formats for 10 place value system as well as for four, four place value system because the four place value system will lead us to a four class four grid format for 15 double digit numbers of four place. Now these 15 double digit numbers of four place value system are being availed for the organization of the formats for the Devanagari alphabet. Vowels are nine, parallel with nine versions of hypercube four, but the value of swara, TCD swara is 15, parallel with the nine parallel with 
15 double digit numbers of four plus value system accommodated along three cross five grid. We shall be continuing, we shall be picking up this thread for the practical illustrations, but practical steps of arithmetic, of force based mathematics, in fact, of every place where we system. And it is for it that we are exposing ourselves for these features in the present session. The present session as it is, is taking us to the basic features which are to be imbibed by us. Let us visit and revisit these steps and have proper exposure for us for further initiation in this domain. Thank you very much. <laughs>